You're here. And listen, we've made it 30 minutes to go until we can put 2020 behind us. But we've got some interesting weather for the first few days of 2021. Tonight, we still have some light rain showers. Couple things. It is rain only. We're nowhere near cold enough for anything other than wet weather. We're also not expecting a lot of severe weather or enough to cause any flooding. But by the time we get into next week, we're going to be done with the rain for a while. We're going to have enough. Scattered showers will continue for the next few hours. But as I widen out, you can see there is some bare spots in the radar, so it's not going to rain all night and it's not going to rain all day tomorrow at your house, but it's going to rain on and off a couple different times throughout the day on Saturday. I know it's dark outside and many of us are ready to uh, turn the page on this year, but you just look outside and it looks kind of like 2020 has felt. It's yucky. It's foggy and cloudy and cool temperatures in the mid 50s. We'll have some of that fog tomorrow morning, and here's the situation with the rain. We're going to have a little spike, some widespread coverage in the middle of the morning tomorrow. Then we'll tone it down a little bit with just some sprinkles and mist and light rain in the afternoon, and then we're going to bump up the rain coverage again tomorrow night. The whole day tomorrow, we're not going to see any sun. It'll be cloudy. We've got the fog in the morning, and it'll be another cool day. Temperatures slowly rising through the 40s, maybe getting up to 50. Tomorrow's going to be one of those days, though, where temperatures could be all over the place because we're going to have a frontal boundary right on top of our area. And I wanted to end the year with uh, one of my favorite shots. You know, I do super sunset, super sunrise pictures from you every night at 11. And this year they've they've meant something different. They've been more important. I really appreciate you sharing with me what you take every night. This is from this morning at Wrightsville Beach. So this was the last sunrise of 2020. Elaine captured this while she was visiting. She sent us some great pictures uh, throughout the year, as have many of you, and I thank you for that. Remember, anytime you capture a sunset or sunrise, just drop me an email to send it at cbs17.com. I show them here and I put them on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. So here's what I mean by all these frontal boundaries kind of sending temperatures haywire over the next few days. We've got a warm front to our east, a cold front to our west. It's warm to our east. It's cool on top of us right now. It's cold back to the west. So all of these are going to jostle around a little bit over the next couple of days, and that'll keep us cool tomorrow, then warm us up Saturday, and then cool us back down on Sunday. The whole time, we've also got to watch out for some rain, and this is what the radar could look like tomorrow morning. Cloudy, but dry early on, and then mid-morning, there's that spike in coverage of rain. Still a few showers around lunchtime, then some dry time in the afternoon. Here we are late afternoon around dinner time. Another batch of showers, maybe some heavy downpours as we head into tomorrow night, and then we'll get a break in the overnight hours. In fact, Saturday, we're actually going to see some sunshine. Saturday will be that warmer day with some dry weather, but not 100% dry because late Saturday night into early Sunday morning, we have another good chance of rain. The good news is tomorrow's severe weather threat stays to our south. There is a very small threat Saturday night into Sunday morning a marginal risk of severe weather. So a lot to digest for the first few days of the new year. A cool, wet day tomorrow, a warmer, drier day Saturday with some sunshine. Then the cold front comes through, cools us back down with some rain early Sunday morning. Second half of Sunday should be drier. And then we've got a nice stretch of dry weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Highs will stay in the 50s on your 10-day forecast. Few scattered showers back in central North Carolina next Thursday and Friday. All right, that's your last look at the forecast for 2020. Here's a live look at Times Square. Boy, that sure does look a lot different than it has in years past. We'll be back with sports right after this.